Hello, my name is Gabriel from Galak USA. In this video, we are going to see the machine to separate the LCD from the Gorilla Glass. This will be a little review of this hot plate machine, so you may take your conclusion if it's good for you or not to buy one of these. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's start. In this video, I'll show you this machine is a hot plate LCD separator. You will find this device on eBay or Amazon and if you want to fix cell phones this is a good tool to, to have. So in this video we will make some like a little review and I will tell you my opinion about this device and how it works. First of all you have here the LCD, so with these buttons you can choose the temperature that you want to work on. You can turn it on or off. All the temperatures are in Celsius. That is very important if you are in US. And it comes with the little handles that you can see here. I just install them. And here you have more that you, that you can install. So these little things goes here and you can put the screw and everything and it will be like this one. So in this case, we're going to put one. Okay, we have put all those things here, all the screws, and we have done the same here. Now we are going to put these little legs to hold the LCD and I'll show you how it, how it works. You have to put first one bolt. then you are going to measure the height that it has to be have to be to in order to keep the thing down it depends on the cell phone or the tablet that you're going to fix if it's okay like that just leave it like that if it's too high or low you change it with the bolt once you have the right height you put the other thing to keep it in that position and then you start putting the other bolt then you can use some plier to adjust it and leave it firm and you're going to do the same with the other one There you go, and there you have it. So it works just fine. I'll show you how you have to use it. Now you have to put the glass or the LCD or whatever you're going to be using. So you can hold it like that. And then keep it for a few minutes or a few seconds, depending on how long you want to leave it. And then you can start using the string here, this wire, to separate it, depending on how you use it. Of course, in this case, we have an S4. So in this case, it's better to use a knife, like I showed you in another videos, and trying to use like a core as you see and then separate it but it's good just to put a lot of heat all at the same time and it will remain for a few more minutes than if you use just the heat the heat gun if you have to buy something don't buy just this a heat gun will be a, a good partner of this device to work with both 
depend of the case. I use both machines. That that is those machines are great. Like I said, when I use just the heat gun and you do this, is is good, it's fast, but it it lose the heat very quickly. So if you do it here for a few minutes, you know that you're not going to damage the screen because you have set just a temperature that you want to to have usually 100 on 120 degrees is fine but if you pass that temperature you will burn or damage the LCD and sometimes when you have to remove the L the glass in this set in this side or here is better to have it like that and just apply a little of heat because it's more accurate and you will be able to heat shut this part and not the whole screen i mean you can use this like that too but we with this you can apply much heat and protect the other part of the lcd so that is one trick that i can teach you in this video Another thing, here you will see a S3. The S3 fits fine in the machine, it's okay. Usually, you can use this machine for iPhone, iPhone 4, or iPhone 5, or 5S, or all those models, because you can put it the way I'll show you now, like this one, for example, this is a Note 2, but you can remove all the border that you have here. It's not like in this case that you have a border that will prevent you to use the wire and to separate it. To separate it. So if you leave it like that, in this case, I will warn you that the LCD is too big here to, to work on it. So maybe you have to do something like that and then try to work it from this side with the iPhone no problem the screen is smaller and, and you will be able to use it no problem like I said the iPhone doesn't have that border and the Note 2 either so you can remove it very quickly with this device overall overall is a good machine but remember there are different brands so don't worry about it it might it might say Kusus or something like that, and it may say another name. They invent, invent all those names, so, but the machine is, is the same. Oh, another thing that you have to think when you are starting to use it is to do a little adjustment from here because you may put 100 degrees, but it might be a little bit higher or lower, so the fine tune, you do it from here. So. You, this is something that you will read on the manual. It has a manual that is very self-explanatory, how you have to use it, and the split uh, screen bar that you I show you here, and everything that you have to keep in mind. There are two models. One is 110 and the other is 220. Depending on the country that you are in, you have to ask for the right machine for you. Otherwise, you will have to use a transformer. There are some vendors that uh, give you this, like for a, a gift. So when you break it, you can replace it. Or another thing, if you are starting to work and is cutting or breaking this wire very easily, what you can do is just use two wires of the same roll that you see here. Just you, you put the wire here and then use another wire and you spin it so you can have it the way you see it here. And it will be, of course, a lot stronger. Other thing that you can use is this gun to fix a cell, a cell phone. It's a good thing. Even when you use this uh, heat gun, it's very useful because you can measure the, the temperatures. So basically, is, that is, are my thoughts about this machine. 
uh, we'll plug it in so you can see how it works. But you can imagine that. I'll turn it on. And you can change the temperature here. Is it actual temperature is 29? But you can start changing the temperature. You see. Then once you set it in the temperature that you want it, just leave it for a while until it reach the temperature. So you can start work. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt, just leave me a comment in the section below. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Watch all other my videos that I make about cell phones and tablets and everything. I hope you can enjoy it and see you to the next time.